Yo, now we have audio. We're doing uh, 80s and 90s trivia. Got my 80s and 90s trivia box. Got 80s and 90s trivia cards in here. What's happening over there? Um. And I'll wait and see if anyone comes in. I'm going to play some Crash Bash on the Sony PlayStation. Crash Bash, the Sony ripoff of Super Mario Party. Flip box. All right, let's play it, see what happens. Uh, why did my thing go away? There we go. Ready for trivia night? Okay, Princess Aaron. Thanks for being here, Princess Aaron. How is it? How's the weather where you are? You're the best. All right. Nothing's gonna end. Okay, are you gonna do the trivia then with me? Crash bash. Oh, I need to get to. I need to change my screen. Why isn't that working? Something is not quite right here. For one, I can't find my mouse cursor. The mouse cursor is gone. can't see anything. Why is my mouse cursor gone? Hold on. Oh, exiting game. Why? What's happening? Wait a sec. Okay, my mouse came back. Okay. I don't know what that was about. Very strange. Okay, let's get back to it. Oh, jeez. Cancel requests. Wait, add friend. Can this thing go away? Hey, Doobie Designs. Hold up, trivia. Yeah, we're doing trivia. I've got Crash Bash that I can play while we're doing trivia, but yeah. I've got the 80s and 90s trivia cards. Should we do some trivia then? Uh, what, what I'm gonna do is play like a round of Crash Bash. And well, I've never actually played Crash Bash, but if it's anything like Mario Party, uh, there'll be plenty of time to ask trivia questions while you wait for the other players to take their turn. Um, so let's try it out, see what happens. Uh, new game, I guess. One player. I'll be Crash Bandicoot. Um, okay, so we'll do trivia. Alright. So, um, a lot of these categories are like movie trivia, music, TV, sports, and... Video games, I guess? Um, that sound okay to everybody? <laughs> it's been a lot, lot hot minute since I played Crash Bash. I've never played Crash Bash. So, we'll see how this goes. I was, I played Mario Party a lot. Never did Crash Bash. Be no malice between us. Hmm. 
Yes, trivia. Okay, we'll get to some trivia in just a sec. I want this cutscene to play out. Crash Bandicoot was one of my favorites. Crash Banjo Spyro. Yeah, they were like, platforms were the big thing in the 90s. Those are all platformers. What is happening here? Uka Uka, this is not a fair contest. You have too many players. If your confidence in evil is so great, you can win. All right, I'll do some trivia. Okay. Um. All right. Let's see. Okay. Hey, uh, Doovy Designs. Um, are you from the United States? Yeah, I am. Okay. All right. Yeah, some international players would have problems with some of these questions, I think. Um, okay, so here's the first question of the night. Uh, which TV show featured John Goodman and Roseanne Barr? What was the name of that show? John Goodman, Roseanne Barr. Roseanne, that's right, yeah. What was it? Roseanne. Oh, okay. Roseanne Barr, I mean, the name is right there. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do this. I guess you could just shout out the answer and we'll just see whoever, whoever can get it first. Uh, okay, let's see. How do you play this game? Save game. So does this not have a board game? A board game interface like Mario Party did? Hey, it's the Dimp. You're here. How's it going, the Dimp? The real Dimp, that is. Not the imposter. The real Dimp. Okay, I'm gonna have my stack of cards there. Hello! Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> um, use your ship to deflect the balls away from your goal. Win by being the last player standing. Okay, move R1, R, R1 and L1. Press and hold to increase the speed of your ship. Oh, okay. Kind of like, um, Meredith and I are about to watch the movie 13th. Okay, well, let's do a question before you have to go do a, a movie. We'll do a couple of them in a row, I guess. Um, okay. Uh, let's just do one. Let's just do one, okay? Um, do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. Uh, what figure skater's ex husband? Uh, helped plan the infamous attack on Nancy Kerrigan. What's what figure skater's ex-husband planned the infamous attack on Nancy Kerrigan? What was her name? What was the name of that person? Figure skater attack on Nancy Kerrigan. Who was that? It was actually a movie based on her, like a biopic. Of few years ago oh snap Tanya Tanya something Tanya Tanya Harding that is correct it was Tanya Harding yep that's the woman who did it yeah Tanya Harding oh no that's the question was asking for the the skaters name but uh, the husband's name was Jeff Galuli wasn't it or something like that All right, let's do one more. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, which Friends actor is Canadian? Matthew Perry or Matt LeBlanc? Which one is Canadian? Which Friends actor is Canadian? Matthew Perry or Matt LeBlanc? Which one is Canadian? Do we know the answer? 
Perry was? Yeah, it was Matthew Perry. Meredith was a figure skater, is that right? I didn't, well, I don't know how, why I would know that, but I definitely didn't. Okay. So, the object of the game is to not let the ball... Oh, let the least amount of balls pass, pass through you? Whoa. Oh, crap. Ah, that one got by. Oh, no. What? I can't read the chat at the moment. Or the balls will get through. I don't want these balls near me. Oh, shoot. What's the score? How long does this game go on for? Hey, I'm the winner! Last man standing. Okay. Oh, okay, last man standing. That makes sense. Okay, here we go. Let's do another one. Um, hmm. Oh, there's still... Yeah, game is still going. I didn't even know. I don't know if... Like, I have this bias where if I don't know the answer to the question, it, I don't feel like anybody would know, but I guess I shouldn't feel like that. Uh, so I'll just ask one of these. Okay, if anybody knows this, uh, what actor had the task of educating Rita? What actor had the task of educating Rita? It's from the film category, so it must be a movie. I don't know the answer to this. I I, I know I know the the person who the answer is. I know him, but I don't know educating Rita. I don't know what that is. Anybody else know? What actor had the task of educating Rita? Anybody know that? Michael something, I forget. Wow, you're, yeah, you're right. It is Michael something. Um, redeem Mario hat for 1,500 points. Oh, boy, I'm going to put on the Mario hat. Okay, but uh, the answer was Michael Caine, the guy who plays Alfred in the new Batman movie. Yeah, you got it. Doovy Designs with the answer. Bam, yes. Um, I have to go get my other hat. I'll be back in a sec. It's a me. All right. There you go. Channel points redeemed. I don't know what the question is referring to. My cocaine. The rain in Spain stays mainly on the plane. So do you lose um, a number every time... Every time a ball gets through, your number goes down. Is that how this works? Oh, no, no! I just had three get through. There's no way I could have got both of those. Uh. Shoot. Michael Kane, not M Michael Kane, not my cocaine. Come on, guys. Hold on, I'm not looking at chat. I'm too busy. Oh, 
What are you guys laughing at? Oh, I'm almost done. Probably shouldn't laugh anymore. Ah, there I go. I lost. Hey! Okay, um... X button to force victory. Don't need to do that. If you say my cocaine with a British accent, it sounds like his name. <laughs> my cocaine. <laughs> yeah, I guess it kind of does. Uh, no, say it. My coke. Michael Kane. Michael Kane. Okay, uh, let's do another question. Uh, okay, here's one. Uh, what animated series featured the gross misadventures of a hyper chihuahua and a stupid cat? What animated feature featured the gross misadventures of a hyper chihuahua and a stupid cat? What show was that? Anybody know? Do, do, do. I should have some weight. Hey, Ren and Stimpy. Cat dog, that was close. It was a cat. A cat and a dog, but no, Ren and Stimpy was the correct answer. You got it. You got it. Nice job. <laughs> All right, let's do another question, and then we'll get back to the game. Um, man. Um, okay. Uh, Okay. Um, who would walk 500 miles to be the man to fall down at your door? This is a music question. <laughs> wow, that was fast. You got that. <laughs> Doobie. Doobie Designs with the quick answer. That was lightning quick. Nice job. Yeah, for sure. He's a trivia master. Okay, let me play this round and we'll do some more questions. Oh no! Oh! Shoot. Doing okay this round. Dang it. Not anymore, I'm not. This game would be more fun with a rotary controller, like a dial. Mm. Oh god, no. No! Oh! Oh, that was close. I thought I had that one. Or I thought I lost, but I won. Okay, here's a movie question. Here we go. What was the highest grossing film of the 90s? The highest grossing film of the 90s. This is multiple choice, so wait for the answer. Dang. How many times you gotta play this? I'm not used to... I've never played Crash Bash before. Oh, wow. Mary Berry, I didn't even have to give you the choices. You got it right. It's the Titanic. The, just in case you're curious, though, the choices were, yeah, for sure. You totally got it. The, um, the multiple choices were going to be uh, Jurassic Park, Star Wars Episode One, or the or the Titanic. So you got it, Titanic. Very good. Um, okay, I'm going to ask another question from the same card. This is a sports question. Said it out loud before she typed it. <laughs> wow. Nice work, guys. Um, in 1994, the former football star... or Sorry, I'll reword that. In 1994, what former football star led L.A. police on, on a television chase through the city? 
Okay, let me reword that because I stumbled. Okay. In 1994, what former football star led L.A. police on a television chase through the city? Can't stay, just wanted to pop in. Hey, Degalock, what's up? We're doing trivia. So, so sad that you can't stick around. But thank you for saying hi, at least. And see you later. See you later. Okay. Uh, what former football star led L.A. police on a television chase through the city? Now think about this for a minute. It's a football star. He was a big football star. And he had troubles with the law. Woo! The dimp. With O.J. Simpson. You got it, man. Good job. No idea which movie that is. What movie are you talking about? That was real life, not a movie. But uh, fun fact... O.J. Simpson was in the Naked Gun movies with Leslie Nielsen. Uh, those were great movies, by the way. Hey, does anybody know how many times I'm supposed to play this game? I don't know why it keeps playing itself over again. Am I supposed to quit? Or what? Straight up, I don't know O.J. played football. That's how out of touch with sports I am. Yeah, that's pretty, you know, I'm pretty out of touch with sports too, but I I, I even knew that. Um, so, whatever. I'll try not to, I'll try not to do the sports ones unless I think they're really easy. And we'll know that they're really easy if I know the answer to them. Dang. Really not doing well this round. Doing okay, actually. I've caught up. Oh no. No! Let me rephrase that. I'm 27 year old female, um, artistic and musically talented. Sports aren't even on my radar. Doovy Designs. Lays it out there. Okay. Let's do another question. Um, okay. Um, so, 27 years old, that would make. Uh, you're barely a 90s girl then, aren't you? Uh, okay. <laughs> So we'll see. 93? Okay, so you got a good uh, seven years in the 90s. Okay. Um, 27? Okay, well, I know that Dimp, Dimp knows a lot about the 80s and 90s, so maybe... Uh, come on, guys. I'm, uh, I'm from 82, so I got almost 10 years on all of y'all. Okay, here's a question. Uh, this is a TV question. What show hosted by LeVar Burton tried to make kids excited about reading? What TV show hosted by Reading Rainbow? Nice job. That was it. Yep, Mary Berry 2, Reading Rainbow. I guess it depends on who can type the fastest. Uh, but you guys got it. Reading Rainbow. Nice work. That was my jam. Oh, you, you know how I can get the TV shows on... The TV show openings on my stream, I should definitely get Reading Rainbow in there too, because so I got Mr. Rogers and I got Bill Nye, the Science Guy, so we need uh, Reading Rainbow. <clears throat> uh, how many times do I gotta play this? Is anybody familiar with Crash Bash? Am I just supposed to keep playing until forever? Just until you're done, you have to exit the arena when you're done. Oh, really? Huh. Huh. Okay, that seems strange to me.
Am I playing the wrong mode then? How do I play the story? What's over here? You must defeat Papu Papu before you can go to the next warp room. I'm confused. How do you know... Oh, Papu Pummel. You need four trophies. Oh. See, I don't think I want a trophy on that game, though. Oh, well, we'll try the next game and we'll see. We, I don't know. It's like party games you can play with friends. Yeah, I, I kind of figured that. It was a Mario Party clone. But Mario Party's got the whole board, like the game board. So I just have to earn a trophy for each game in order to move on, I guess. All right, we'll do another question. Um, ah, okay. Here's one I want to ask. This will be fun. In 1997, approximately half of all US households with internet access used it through which company? Win three times in all games and you will move on. Okay. Okay. So I think I only won twice in the ball game. So maybe that's what's wrong. I need to win three times. Uh, the question again. In 1997, approximately half of all U.S. households. AOL. America Online. I was there. Mary Berry. You got it. Nice. Nice job. AOL, for sure. I had AOL. I think everybody had AOL at least a little while. Um, oh, I should be reading this. Charge into each other, or charge into another player to knock them off the ice. Collect power-ups by entering the beam, win by being the last player standing. My dude still uses AOL email. Whoa, for real? I didn't know I didn't know you could use AOL for anything anymore. I thought they were all gone. Uh, charge with square. Cannot charge if meter is empty. Oh, okay. When falling, push into the arena and press repeatedly the square button. Okay. Uh, pass the weight to one and. Uh, to the other players, collect the lightning from other players. Okay. Alright, let's try this out. I already forgot how to do it. I wonder if they have a weight advantage over me. I'm definitely the smallest one on the arena. Wow, AOL had the... I had that a long time ago. Yeah, me too. Welcome, you've got mail. Oh, I kicked him right off. Did you see that? Bam. Uh-oh. Oh, almost had him. Ooh. Heck yeah! I was thinking AOL was a messaging service, but then I realized mixing it up with AIM. Well, AIM was AOL, uh, AOL Instant Messenger. They kind of spun it off into its own thing. Okay. Do, 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 do. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's a good question. Uh, what animated kid show featured the line, Hello, nurse? So what show was that? What animated show, kid show, featured the line, Hello, nurse. Animaniacs, you got it. I wish there was a way I could trigger Animaniacs specifically, but I can't. They're only random. I should probably find a way to do that. But yeah, good job, Animaniacs. Uh, let's ask another question before we play the game again. Um, oh, what TV show series was a spin-off of Cheers? Which TV show series was a spin-off of Cheers? 
Cheers was that show with the bar and the people in it. Oh, I remember that show. Remember that show? Yeah. Frasier. Mary Bear got it. Mm. Frasier with Kelsey Grammer. Two. Nice job, Mary Bear. Okay, it's just me and Monkey Man now. This game's a little bit easier than the other one. They had a crossover episode, did they now? Uh, okay. Here's a music question. What was the first album by a black artist to receive rotation airplay on MTV? What was the first album by a black artist to receive rotation airplay on MTV. I loved Frasier. What was the name? Niles David Hyde Pierce. Love him. Yeah. David Hyde Pierce. Great actor, too. Um, it wasn't Jay-Z. You gotta go earlier than that, I think. MTV started in the late 70s? Right? Oh, okay. The first uh, album by a black artist to receive rotation airplay on MTV. MJ, well, see, they're asking for the name of the album, but, but yeah, you're on the right track. Straight out of Campton? No, it wasn't that. <laughs> Thriller with the Dimp. Thriller is the name of the album. Good job. Good job to the Dimp. You got it. Thriller. I saw um, Thriller was for sale on vinyl at Target. They actually have a lot of... What's going on? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. I can't believe I'm still standing. Because uh, this game does not use the analog sticks. And I was using them and nothing was happening. Yeah, yeah, so Target has like a revival of vinyl. They have like a whole section of vinyl albums and record players and stuff. At least at the Target downtown in Portland. Alright, so I should have the trophy now, right? For that? I won three times? Yeah, it shows I got the trophy. Okay, so we'll play the next game. Pogo... Painter. Okay, let's do another question. Um, do you guys like the TV, music, or movie questions best, or game, or video game? I guess they're technology questions. Or do you like a mix of all of them? TV and movie questions? Anybody else have a preference? They're all good. But this is our last question. Okay, Dim, I understand. You got other things to do. Um, music for me, movies, TV second. Well, here, okay. Here's a TV question. Uh, what eight season buddy sitcom featured watch and learn? Uh, what? Hold on. What eight season buddy comedy featured Watch and Learn Larry and Don't Be Ridiculous Balky? So Larry and Balky, what was the name of that show? Buddy sitcom, Watch and Learn Larry, Don't Be Ridiculous Balky. Stumped. Now this was like a really short lived but popular show. Balky, um. Man, I don't... I actually didn't watch this show that much. I think I remember the opening theme song more than anything else. Uh, the name the name of the show was Perfect Strangers. Short-lived in eight seasons. <laughs> I guess uh, I guess I'm wrong about it being short-lived. Eight seasons is pretty long. Perfect Strangers, anybody ever watch that? With Balky? No idea what that is. Check out... Um, go on YouTube and look that up. You might actually know it by watching it. Okay, I'll do one more real quick. This will be easy. Um, 
What web retailer? Uh, what web retailer started in 1994 as an online bookstore? What web retailer started in 1994 as an online bookstore? It's not eBay, but good try. Uh, 1994 started out as a bookstore, online retailer. Amazon, the real dim. Just. <laughs> just eked out Mary Berry but uh, I believe they're probably in the same room alright guys if that's it for you have a good night and um, you guys are watching a movie enjoy the movie I'm going to play for a little bit longer probably 30 more minutes and we'll do trivia you're going to lurk okay that sounds good I've got a lurk command that you should definitely use <laughs> we will not we will not enjoy oh well then then don't it's a documentary about the prison industrial complex. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, learn something then. Learn something and get an appreciation for the life that you have after watching the documentary. Uh, I'm here until I get the information I need. Then I'll BRB a bit and come back after I finish up work and stuff. Alrighty. That sounds good. Uh, I'm going to read the rules of this mini game. And then uh, I'll play around and then we'll do more trivia. Uh, hey, the right face. We got another. So we got. <laughs> we lost some players and we gained a player. So the right face, are you up for some trivia tonight? Maybe I'll. Uh, maybe I'll run a question now just for the new guy. The right face. Um. Hmm. Okay, here's a music question. We're about to watch a movie. See you later, Dan. Goodbye. Uh, a music question. Who had a number one hit in 1993 with "Blame It on Your Heart"? Who had a number one hit in 1993 with Blame It on Your Heart? I personally wouldn't know the answer to this. Except for the fact that I'm looking at the answer. I wouldn't have known. Hey, you got it. Patty Loveless. Nice job. Doovy. You definitely live up to your reputation. The music. Yeah, the music questions. Well, I got different categories. Uh, I got technology, music, TV, and sports. Real popular old country singer? Okay. Um, move around the arena to turn squares into your color. Break the special craze to turn your squares into points. Uh, win by having the highest score when the time runs out. Move and press square to fire a missile. Oh. Okay. Thanks for the BRB. Doobie Designs. Alright. I'll see you when you get back. The right face, though, as far as I know, is still here. Um, stun other players with missiles, arrow color, whole rows of squares, collect speedy boots to move faster. Remember, break the special crates to turn your squares into points. Um, okay. Oh, come on now. I guess um, I should focus on getting the purple crates because none of the colors I make are gonna matter if I can't if I can't turn them into points. Oh, this game's kind of hard.
Hey, I'm the winner. Hey, Von Schnitzel. I don't know if I've ever met you before. If I have, I'm sorry I don't remember. But thank you for being here tonight. We're doing trivia questions between, I guess, rounds of Crash Bash. Uh, Von Schnitzel, are you from the United States or are you uh, worldwide? Just wondering, because a lot of the questions I have are are North America focused. Um, okay, I'm going to ask a question. Australia? Okay. Well, you might know uh, some of these. I know the cultures kind of clash. Uh, I mean, not clash, but they integrate a little bit. Um, okay. Here's a technology question. Uh, the question is, IBM launched what groundbreaking product in 1981? IBM. They launched what groundbreaking product in 1981? Uh, it's a, kind of a vague answer, actually. So think broadly, in broad terms. You don't need a specific uh, thing that they had. Uh, IBM launched what groundbreaking product in 1981? Personal computer, exactly right. The right face, you got it. Nice job, the right face. Totally, the personal computer. Okay, I'll play another round and then we'll do another question. Come on. You know, I kind of kind of don't like Crash Bash that much. It's no Mario Party. Man, I can't get those point boxes. Come on. I'm really far behind. Totally gonna get that one. Oh, they had they had point boots or uh, speed boots. Like I'm getting a lot of squares, but I can't get to the point boxes before it's, someone else grabs them. Lame. Okay. Another question. Okay. Um. Oop, better pause. Okay. TV question. On Beverly Hills 90210, where did the Walsh family come from? Anybody know the answer? I don't. I don't watch that. I've never watched that show. Beverly Hills 90210. Where did the Walsh family come from? Mm. What was the name of this? Is there any... I sort of regret asking this question now, now that I see what the answer is. But it's kind of too late. Um, so, 90210, where did the Walsh family come from? Anyone know the answer? Hmm? Nobody wants to guess? Come on, there can't be that many cities in the United States. Uh, I guess they're asking for a city or a state. Will that be California? No, and it's not California. And you're supposed to answer in the chat. <laughs> I've got a partner next to me who wants to verbally answer questions. Beverly Hills 90210. Where did the Walsh family come from? Nobody knows. Detroit? It's not Detroit. Chicago? It's not Detroit. It's not Chicago. You guys give up? If you give up, I'll ask, ask a different question. Um, all right, I'll give. Uh, I'll count to five, and then I'll count that as a give up. One, two, three, four, five. The answer is Minneapolis, Minnesota. The answer was Minneapolis, Minnesota. Okay, movie question. Uh, Leaving Las Vegas earned Oscar nominations for both Nicolas Cage and Elizabeth Shue. 
But who won? Who won the Oscar? Uh, leaving Las Vegas earned Oscar nominations. Return. I don't have a return command. I've never seen that before. I might add that, though. Huh. Um, leaving Las Vegas earned Oscar nominations for both Nicolas Cage and Elizabeth Shue. But who won? Everybody, who was your first... <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has that one either. Uh, leaving Las Vegas earned Oscar nominations for both Nicolas Cage and Elizabeth Shue. But who won? Who won the Oscar? Nobody? I can switch topics. I was looking at. Uh, okay, the answer was Nicolas Cage. I mean, you guys had a 50-50 cho choice. You could have just guessed. Would have got one of them right. Or somebody might have. Okay, here's another question. <clears throat> uh, this is a TV question. What are the names of Scrooge McDuck's nephews in the series DuckTales? What are their names? you got to name all three of them. What are the names of Scrooge McDuck's nephews in the series DuckTales? What are their names? There's three of them. Huey, Dewey, and Louie Dewey Designs. You got it. Dewey's Designs with the win. Nice job. Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Oh yeah, that was big points for me. Yeah. Doing okay this round. I guess I should, if I notice somebody else is definitely going to make it to a point box before me, I should just turn around and go a different way. Ooh. Woo! Alright, that's two wins for me. DuckTales, woo! I have DuckTales on my stream too. If you type in exclamation point change channel, there's a chance that DuckTales will show up. Ex exclamation point change channel. Uh, let's see. I'll do a music question and then a TV question. And then I'll do a technology question. I'll do all the questions on this card. Um, first question. Music. Uh, who is the lead singer for Red Hot Chili Peppers? What is his name? Who is the lead singer for Red Hot Chili Peppers? Anyone know the answer? Lead singer... F oh, yep. Yep. Doobie's Designs with the win again. Doobie's Designs. Okay, I'm going to go to TV category and we'll say... Uh, ready? Get your fingers ready. <clears throat> What purple dinosaur graced children's television during the 90s? What purple dinosaur? Barney! We're a happy family with a smile and a hug. Alright. Uh, last, last question for this round. <laughs> Barfs. <laughs> what? Hated that purple turd. <laughs> yeah, I like most people did, so why was he so popular? I don't get it. Uh, with a... <laughs> oh, man. Teletubbies was your thing? Oh, God. Teletubbies was a scary show, I'll tell you. Teletubbies. Okay. Um, technology question. Bananas in pajamas? Uh, I was a little too old when those guys 
were popular in the United States. I do like their theme song, though. Bananas in pajamas, they're coming down the stairs. Bananas in pajamas, they're chasing teddy bears. If you want me to continue singing Bananas in Pajamas, you got to redeem my channel points reward for singing. And then I'll sing that song to you. Um, okay, technology question. What video game console was introduced by Sony in 1994? I know this is a tough one. What video game console was introduced by Sony? Uh, Doobie's Designs, PlayStation. You know, yeah, in the right face, you got it too right afterwards. I think Doobie's got a typing... Um, uh, oh, what do you call it? Not a handicap, but uh, a boon, a typing boon. She must be very fast at typing, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, type X is at 50 words per minute. Uh, that's definitely better than me. I hover right around 30, and that's while making lots of mistakes in the process. No way I'm getting those. No! Oh, I was on my way. Oh, I still won, though. That's great. Okay, we'll do another question. What time is it? All right, got about 10 more minutes. Uh, okay, here's a TV show question. And uh, one of my favorite TV shows back in the day, anyways. Um, here we go. 1-800-CRIME-TV uh, was the tip line for what show? 1-800-CRIME-TV was the tip line for what show? What show was that? When would you call... America's Most Wanted, the right face. Uh, right face got it just in time. Ooh, he even got the entire title in there. No shorthand for the right face. Good job. Um, so we'll do a music question now. Oh, man, I got to do the movie question on here, too. Um, so the music question is, what rock band released their first album, uh, Appetite for Destruction, in 1987? That show always scared me. It aired Sundays, if I remember. Yeah, I think you're right. It did air Sundays. Guns N' Roses, Doobie's Designs. Once again, the trivia master. Okay, uh, movie question. Who are the furry inhabitants of the forest moon of Endor in Return of the Jedi? Who are the furry inhabitants of the forest moon of Endor? Ewoks. Ewoks. Doobie Designs with the fast fingers. Good job. And the right face. You get uh, half points because I know you were typing it first. You just didn't type it as fast. I'm sure. I'm sure that's what it was. Bonus pat on the back. <laughs> so the thing about this game is you cannot change direction while you're in the air. You can only change direction while you're... Um... Ah, man. While you're uh, touching the ground. So... Like, you can't make quick decisions here. Denied. You know, a legit strategy is denying the other players the point boxes.
nuts to that. I think that's three. Three for me, and I'm the winner. I get a trophy now, right? Yep, got the trophy. Oh, I'm losing my cards here. Okay, let's do another question. Um, okay, uh, shoot. Um, <laughs> all right. I wonder if these are repeats. I've read these questions on another night. Um, I don't think anybody here was playing, though, at the time. Uh, technology question. What Japanese video game company began in 1889 with playing cards? What Japanese company began in 1889 with playing cards? It's not Hasbro. Good guess. Hasbro's a toy company. Um, so this company is 131 years old. Japanese video game company. Games too, though? Does Hasbro make games? Maybe they do. I'm not sure. I can't think of any other games. Hey, the right face with Nintendo. Indeed, Nintendo is 131 years old. They started out making playing cards. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, okay. Um, I'll do a music question just because I want to see Doovie's designs. I want to see what her wealth of knowledge really is. Okay, who claimed... I may be dumb, but I'm not a dweeb. Who claimed, I may be dumb, but I'm not a dweeb? Who was that? Who said that? I may be dumb, but I'm not a dweeb. Who claimed uh, uh, that statement? Anybody know? Offspring? How do you know that? <laughs> Is that the name of a song or a lyric? I've never heard that before. That's the band. Well, I know Offspring is the band. I know that. <clears throat> I just don't know what the question was about. Um, okay. this is That's the band. Okay. Uh, film question. What planet is invaded by the Trade Federation in The Phantom Menace? What's the name of the planet? That's the lyrics from... Self-esteem. Okay, those are lyrics. Oh, wow. Hey, the right face. Naboo is the correct answer. I'm just going to ask a bunch of questions in a row before I have to close my stream. So we'll just see how many I can get through. Uh, music question. What band won a Grammy in 1999 for Best Alternative Music Album for Hello Nasty? What band won a Grammy in 1999 for Best uh, best alternative music album for Hello Nasty. Who who made that album? The Beastie Boys. Doobie Designs. Again. There's just no stopping her. Um, okay. Let's do another one. Yoink. Um... Who played Mr. Brown in Reservoir Dogs? This is a, and spelling does not count because I know this is a hard one to spell. Uh, movie question, who played Mr. Brown in Reservoir Dogs? As long as I know who you're trying to say, spelling doesn't matter. Who played Mr. Brown in Reservoir Dogs? Quentin Tarantino, Doobie's Designs, again, with the correct answer. Okay, I'm just gonna go right down the list on this whole card and then I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, music question, who published autobiography Rhinestone Cowboy in 1994? Who published his autobiography? Um, Rhinestone Cowboy 1994, who was that? Who published his autobiography? Glenn Campbell, how do you know these things? Uh, very good, Dewey's Designs once again, dominating the trivia questions. Okay, uh, TV question. Name the 1984 spin-off show from Three's Company that starred Jack Ritter. I'm a wealth of no useless knowledge. 
Uh, yeah, you're proving that to be true. Name the 1994 spin-off show from Three's Company uh, that starred Jack Ritter. What was the name of that show? Three's Company is an old show. Never watched Three's Company? Yeah. Yeah, I never really watched it either. Um, so Three's Company... Think about the... Um, two's, okay, I'll give you a hint. Two's Company... And then what would you say after you say Two's Company? Three's a Crowd. Yeah, that's the name of the show. Three's a Crowd. All right. Um, is the right face still in? Oh, the right face is there. Okay, sorry. I didn't see your name. You both have the same color. Uh, I'm going to ask the sports question, even though probably nobody will get it, unless you're a sports guy. I'm not. Um, how old was Al... Usner Sr. when he became the oldest winner of the Indianapolis 500. <laughs> How old was Al Usner Sr. when he became the oldest winner of the Indianapolis 500? Um, the right face is actually kind of close. Oh, thanks for changing the color. Um, that, that's good. Uh, you gotta go up. Go up. Oh, actually, this is a multiple choice. <laughs> so... I didn't realize there was a multiple choice here. The choices are 35, 47, and 52. What do you think it is? Was he 35, was he 47, or was he 52? He was 47. Yeah, yeah, you got it. No, 47 was it. But I eh, I need to give that to the right face. No, I don't. No, no, I don't know. We'll call it a draw. Because uh, I didn't have the multiple choice. Um, that's strange. This is listed in the technology category. Anybody know anything about Canada? Anybody from Canada? <clears throat> well, this is a question. I don't know. You'll probably not get. I'd be really surprised if anybody got this one. I'm gonna ask it anyways. Okay, um, after 16 years in office, what Canadian Prime Minister resigned in 1984? After 16 years in office, what Canadian Prime Minister resigned in 1984? What was his name? In 19... Or sorry, after 16 years in office, what Canadian Prime Minister resigned in 1984? Oh, snap! Do we have a... Uh... We had got nothing. I got nothing. I wouldn't have known this. I wouldn't have had any clue. I barely can pronounce this guy's name. You guys give up? Oh, wait a sec. Oh, wow. Doobie's Designs. Um, Doobie's Designs is surprisingly close. Surprisingly close. In fact, she knows the answer. She just doesn't remember the name exactly. So you got it. The answer was Pierre Trudeau. His name was Pierre Trudeau. So good job. Pierre Trudeau. Wow. Do Doobie's Designs. Wow. Wow. Um, let's everybody. I'm going to give Doobie Designs a mega yay. Doobie Designs for being the winner of trivia. <laughs> well done indeed. <laughs> All right, I'm going to call it a night, guys. Thanks for doing Trivia Night with me. I had a lot of fun. I think I have more fun doing Trivia Night than actually just playing the game normally. Uh, so, yeah, I'll have to do Trivia Night maybe once a week or so. We'll have a lot of fun doing it. But uh, that's it for tonight, guys. Thanks to Right Face. Thanks to Doobie Designs, tonight's winner. And thanks to Princess Aaron. Thanks to Mary Berry. And thanks to The Real Dimp. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Uh, end slide, see ya.